not operators in MySQL are often used in many queries. In this video, we will be discussing about how we can use these operators in MySQL. What are the different use cases in which we can use these operators? So let's get started, guys. Before we start the video, if you want to become a successful data analyst with WSCube, then WSCube Tech is bringing their premium data analytics mentorship program. Its cohort 2 is launching in September. So if you want to be a part of this journey with WSCube, then click on apply now. Now let's get started guys. So here in our previous session, we have discussed about some different queries where we have used select query to retrieve the data where we have also used where clause to retrieve the data where the credit limit is greater than 1 lakh. So we have the name of the customer, we have country and customer number. So if I run this country, these are the name of the customers, the country and the customer number of those customers whose credit limit is greater than 1 lakh. Okay. What if I also want to retrieve the data of only those customers whose credit limit is greater than 1 lakh and they are from USA. So if I go to this one, so if, suppose if I write the query once again, let's start simply writing it that select maybe everything from customers say that credit limit should be greater than 1 lakh and so end over here denotes that both the conditions that you have provided should be true. So end is used whenever you want all the conditions that you are providing to be true. So for where, with where we are writing multiple conditions and here and is used so that if I write country equals USA and if I close it and run it again, I will only obtain the data of those customers whose country is USA and whose credit limit is greater than 1 lakh. So this is how you can use AND operator. So AND operator over here denotes that both of these situations are mandatory. Now suppose let's say and where employee number is equal to 1165. So suppose there is this particular employee which is who is dealing from, uh, with these people. Okay. So I want that AND employee number, sales representative employee number. So sales representative employee number should be equal to now as it is integer I will be writing 1165 directly like this and if I run this see as you can see I'm only getting the data of those people whose customer representative employee number is 1165 whose credit limit is greater than 1 lakh and who are from USA. So all the three conditions are true over here and to make all the three conditions true we use AND operator between these conditions. This is how AND operator is used. Similarly, if I talk about OR operator, so let's just beautify this one as well. So if I select all of it and press control B, this is how it will look like that select everything from customers where credit limit is greater than 1 lakh, country is equals to USA and sales representative employee number is 1165. Okay, moving ahead. Now let's discuss about OR operator. How do we use OR operator? OR operator is used when you want to give multiple conditions. For example, in job applications, there is often mentioned in the job application that uh, your degree should be bachelor's, whether it is B.Tech, whether it is BCA, whether it is B.Ed, whether it is B.Sc. Any bachelor's degree is applicable. Any bachelor's degree means if in this condition I want to obtain the data from of the customers who are either from Germany or from USA. In that condition, I will use OR operator. Okay, that means I want the data of both the countries basically. So whenever the country is USA or whenever the country is Germany, I want to obtain that particular data. For that, I will be using OR operator. How to use it is very simple. That select everything from customers where country equals Germany or country equals USA. And many of you who are familiar with SQL will say that in operator could also be used over here, but that we will be learning in our upcoming videos. But as of now, as we are discussing about OR operator, so we are using OR operator over here. 
that select everything from customers where country is either Germany or USA. And as you can see, in the country section, we only have the countries of USA or Germany, I, I mean. Okay. Similarly, you can provide multiple condition using or operator. Okay. Or you can mix and match as well. For example, suppose I want to get the data of those people who are from Germany and their credit limit is greater than 1 lakh and who are from USA whose credit limit is greater than 1 lakh. So, how I will write that? Let's have a look on that. In that condition, I'll just write it in multiple lines so that it will be easily visible for you all. So, where country equals USA and credit limit should be greater than zero. Okay. You can put and over here and because we are using or we can use or as well that or country equals I guess I have written where twice. This is how it would look like but make sure to enclose it in a bracket that whether the country is USA or Germany but this one condition is mandatory. Okay. If I close this and if I run this, you can now see the, okay, I have written zero, <laughs> one lakh. And now if I run this again, so we'll receive the data of both USA and Germany where the credit limit is greater than one lakh. This is how AND and OR operator works. Now let's talk about NOT operator. NOT operator is very simple. If I want to obtain all the data except from the country USA and the country Germany, in that condition, I want I can use NOT operator. So here I can write select everything from customers where NOT country equals USA. Let's, start, let's first start with one country only. So, if I write where not country equals USA, it will give me the data of each customers except for the customers of USA. Similarly, if I write with the bracket or country equals Germany and close the bracket as well. Now, I am receiving all the data except for the people who are from Germany or from USA. This is how this works. So, you need to put a NOT operator. Just make sure before you are putting a NOT operator and you are, you are using multiple conditions inside, just close it inside the parentheses. Follow the method of board mass. So, basically brackets comes first and uh, put things inside the bracket so that they get solved first and then later the other things will get solved. So, these are some basic things about AND, OR and NOT operator. In our upcoming videos, we will be discussing more about them, how we can use it with different queries, whether they come with joins, whether they come with order by or whether they come with group by. So, stay connected guys and for more such tech related content, follow our channel WS Cube Tech. Thank you.